Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Hypothesis Testing Part 7 Tests of 1 and 2 Proportions Before watching this video, we recommend viewers to watch our previous video on hypothesis testing which was on introduction and one sample Z test. Link to this video is provided in the description of this video. When should we use proportion tests? Consider the following examples. A company has purchased a new tube making machine to prevent leakages. The management wants to know whether leakages are reduced after commissioning of this new machine. We will see this example in the application of the proportion test. HR department of a company wants to know whether satisfaction level of employees has improved after appointing new canteen contractor. Is proportion of winning matches better with Captain A compared to Captain B? This would be a two proportion test. So let us see the null and alternate hypothesis in case of one proportion test. We want to find out whether proportion is equal or different compared to historical or reference proportion. Therefore, the null hypothesis will be H0, P is equal to P0, where P0 is the reference or historical proportion. And the alternate hypothesis can take the form H1, P is equal to P0, which can be a two-tailed test with alpha risk distributed on both the tails or H1 can be P greater than P0 which will be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed on right tail and the third possibility is that H1 P less than P0 which will be a one tail test with complete alpha risk distributed on the left tail. Let us see how to calculate test statistic with normal approximation to binomial distribution. In most cases, the sample size is large enough and normal approximation to binomial distribution can be used. We calculate the Z statistic in such cases as X minus NP0 upon square root of NP0 into 1 minus P0. Where N is the sample size, P0 is the hypothesized proportion and X is the actual number of events. Note that in the numerator there is a term that appears NP0. If N is the sample size and P0 is the hypothesized proportion, then NP0 is the expected number of events, either successes or failures, whatever we are testing for. This Z calculated should be compared with critical value of Z statistic for the alpha risk on both or one tail as applicable depending on the alternate hypothesis. Let us consider an application example of one proportion test. An automobile radiator manufacturer is facing problem of rejection of about 6% radiators for leakage problem. Based on recommendation of their improvement team, they have procured a new tube making machine and manufactured 500 radiators in the pilot batch. Out of these 500, they find 16 radiators leaking. Can they conclude at 95% confidence that the leak problem has significantly reduced with the new machine? The null hypothesis for this example will be H0, P is equal to 0.06 as Historical proportion defective is given as 6% or 0 0.06 proportion. The alternate hypothesis will be H1 P less than 0 0.06 as we want to check for reduction in proportion defective and this would be a one tail test with alpha risk distributed on left tail. 
confidence level given is 95 percent so let us make the calculations z calculated our formula is x minus np0 upon square root of np0 1 minus p0 in this case n is equal to 500 p0 is 0 0.06 x is equal to 16 because in the pilot lot 16 radiators were leaking out of 500 expected number of leaking radiators np0 is equal to 500 into 0 0.06 so that is 30 so now the z calculated will be 16 minus 30 upon square root of 30 1 minus 0 0.06 which works out to be minus 2.64 this is the z score so this z calculated value minus 2.64 should be compared with critical value of z for alpha risk on left tail let us determine the critical value of standard normal distribution z score we use the table of standard normal distribution here you can download tables of normal and other distributions from our website www.world-class-quality.com we have to locate a point where the area to the left is 0 0.05 that is the alpha risk so we can see that uh, this is 0 0.050 and this is 0 0.0495 quite close and this value is equal to 1.6 and 4 or 5 we can say 1.645 we can now see this in the attached figure from Minitab and you can see that the critical value of Z is minus 1.645 and the calculated value of z minus 2.64 is to the left of that and it is in the critical region so we must reject null hypothesis and conclude that the new machine is having lower rejection compared to the historical rejection we can also perform this hypothesis test of proportion on a software called GeoGebra GeoGebra is a free downloadable software and now in this GeoGebra I select instead of Z test for mean I select Z test of a proportion null hypothesis I write as 0 0.06 alternate hypothesis less than samples successes or defective pieces 16 the sample size is 500 and now it shows that the result n z is equal to minus 2.6364 with a p value of 0.0042 as we know the rule when the p value is less than the alpha risk which is 5 percent here 5 percent is 0 0.05 so since this p value is less than 0 0.05 we must reject the null hypothesis we can also see this on the graph of the distribution and for that I click on the distribution and here the mu is equal to 0 and sigma is equal to 1 is the standard normal distribution we are talking about cumulative and then I select the left sided probability and probability of less than I must write minus 2.64 which it shows as 0 0.0041 you can also look at the critical value of Z by moving this pointer and if I move the pointer you can see the probability or the area to the left of that point and I move it until I see the left side area is 0 0.05 which is 0 0.0505 I might be able to change it slightly to see exact 0 0.05 area to the left okay so that's minus 1.645 our table also shows the same value so this blue area is 0 0.05 which is the alpha risk on the left tail let us now see two proportion test we want to find out whether proportion is equal or significantly different in two different groups in this kind of two proportion test the null hypothesis will be both the proportions are equal that is p1 is equal to p2 
and the alternate hypothesis can be again either equality or p1 greater than p2 or p1 less than p2 and then for the first one that is inequality it will be alpha is distributed on both tails for p1 greater than p2 it will be alpha is distributed on right tail and for p1 less than p2 alpha risk will be distributed on left tail we will see now the test statistic for two proportion test again this is using normal approximation to binomial the z calculated value is equal to in the numerator p1 minus p2 that is difference between the two proportions divided by a square root of p into 1 minus p into bracket 1 upon sample size first that is n1 plus 1 upon n2 which is the second sample size where p is the average proportion x1 plus x2 upon n1 plus n2 and p1 equals x1 upon n1 and p2 equal to x2 upon n2 where x1 and x2 are the number of successes in the two groups successes could be failures and n1 and n2 are sample sizes this z calculated should be compared with critical value of z for the alpha risk on both or one tail as applicable depending upon the alternate hypothesis of our objective now let us see an application example of two proportions test a regulatory agency wants to compare quality levels of two service providers of voice and data services following data is collected for various random locations in a city company a 30 dropped calls out of 100 and company b 40 dropped calls out of 200 is the performance of the two service providers comparable assume 90% confidence level null and alternate hypothesis will be h0 proportion a equals proportion b and h1 proportion a not equal to proportion b so we can calculate the z statistic using the formula that was shown earlier the proportion p would be equal to 30 plus 40 by 100 plus 200 that is 0.233 this is the expected proportion if null hypothesis is true and now z can be calculated as 30 by 100 minus 40 by 200 divided by square root of 0.233 into 1 minus 0.233 and into bracket 1 upon 100 plus 1 upon 200 this works out to be z is equal to 1.93 now we use the table of standard normal distribution the confidence level is 90 percent so we can easily see that the critical value of z statistic with alpha risk on both tails alpha risk is total 10 percent divided on two tails would be 0 0.05 on each tail so the critical value of z statistic is 1.64 on both the tails so plus and minus 1.64 calculated value of z is 1.93 which is definitely crossing the critical value of 1.64 on the right side thus we must reject h0 the two service providers therefore differ in their service quality significantly at 90 percent confidence level if we change the confidence level to 95 percent what would be your answer let us try this uh, using geogebra so we go to statistics and choose uh, z test difference of proportions the null hypothesis is p1 minus p2 equal to 0 it is equivalent of saying p1 is equal to p2 our alternate hypothesis is not equal to because we just want to test for differences successes are actually dropped calls in the first uh, sample that is 30 and I think the sample size was 100. In the second case, it was 40. Drop calls out of 200. And the moment we say that we get the Z score as 1.93 and P value as 0 0.0535. So we must reject the null hypothesis based on this uh, calculations. You can also check on the normal distribution, but uh, this software doesn't support it very well but we can see 
that uh, two tail values and we'll say okay minus 1.93 and plus 1.93 that gives you an area of 0.9464 in the middle of these two values so the tail area would be 1 minus this and if we make it half of that uh, we will probably get about 0 0.0268 on each tail Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.